didn't see by our introduction, we are going to be learning about chimpanzees. What do you think, Dallin? Well, the chimpanzee is a very smart, intelligent animal. Uh, they're very special and they're going endangered, which is why we are making this presentation. To educate and to help chimpanzees. Though they cover only 7% of the world's land surface, tropical forests shelter more than half of the world's plant and animal species, providing a reliable supply of clean, fresh water and air. Africa is home to the world's second largest rainforest, the Congo Basin, which supports millions of people and countless living things that exist nowhere else on Earth, such as the endangered chimpanzee. Yet. Africa is losing 10 million acres of its forests every year, twice the world's average deforestation rate, putting chimpanzees and other species in terrible jeopardy. Even the chimps at Gombe, although they're perfectly safe within their national park, it's a very tiny national park. Today, outside this tiny 30 square mile oasis of forest, the trees have gone. People have moved right up to the boundaries of the park. One of the biggest threats to Gombe National Park has actually been deforestation. And that's mostly communities going out and cutting, you know, forests for either firewood or to have more land for agriculture. Habitat is lost when roads are put in for logging or logging concessions are granted or when farmers simply slash and burn the local forest in order to provide uh, new room for crops. how the chimpanzee is getting endangered. Their indigenous home, the rainforests of Africa, are being chopped down due to overlogging. And that's a very important issue and it needs to be stopped. And now on to our next... <laughs> organisms to humans on Earth. As you can see from that clip, chimpanzees have very complex social interactions, a lot like humans. And now to the next clip. Chimpanzees are our closest living relatives. Yet, we've let them get perilously close to extinction. Chimpanzees face a variety of threats. One is that the very habitat that they live in, the forest, is being destroyed. When I began in 1960, there were at least one million chimpanzees right across to West Africa. And today, no more than 150,000 at most. Look, now how are some ways we can help support chimpanzees and other wildlife? Well, to help chimpanzees, you can donate to a foundation like the Jane Goodall Institute. They help chimpanzees in Africa. How are some ways we could help wildlife? Well, you could just simply plant a tree in your neighborhood or recycle. What's this next video going to be about? Human-like behaviors of chimpanzees. <laughs>
cool they are can always help chimpanzees. And also, that I hope you've learned something from this video. Thanks for watching.